On this episode of Soldier Tech Battlefield, I'm going to be comparing the stock mail iOS application versus the new kid on the block, the mailbox app that's just been released for iOS. We're going to see which one comes out the best for email. So it's going to start the show. What's up guys and gals, welcome back to another episode of Soldiers Tech Battlefield. I'm your host Mark Watson, otherwise known as Soldier Knows Best. And on this show we take two products and normally compare them against each other or we just talk tech. But this episode we're going to be comparing the stock iOS mail application versus the mailbox app. And so for this episode the categories are going to be design, features, and price. So it's going to start the show with the first category and that is the design. All right, so I switched angles here. I do have the iPhone sitting here in front of me. And in the first category, again, it's going to be design. And it's going to start off with the iOS mail application. Now, in iOS 6, they did streamline the mail inbox just a little bit to make it just a little bit different from the way it looks. But for the most part, it looks the same uh, that it has been looking over these years. But anyway, once you open it up, you have some um, uh, your different inboxes here. You have a couple of different options. You can see your flagged emails. Uh, and go to all inboxes if you wanted to, or you can go down to your individual accounts. And so if I tap on this one, I'm not in my inbox just yet. I do have to do another tap to get into my inbox and finally I am here now one thing you'll notice about this uh, um, in the iOS mail uh, different from the mailbox applications is the location of the buttons um, you have this back button right here to get you back to where you were you have the edit button here so you can do some mass um, things to it. do some mass delete so you can do a mass move or uh, to move it to a folder or something like that if you wanted to but then all the way down here at the bottom you do have the create a new message button which naturally when you're holding your phone your thumb is probably going to be at the top um, of the iPhone which I don't really like it uh, being at the bottom because as we switch over to the mailbox application as soon as you open up the app you're immediately in your inbox this is probably where you want to go when you do open up your mailbox application and we have all the buttons up here at the top very nice uh, you have this uh, button right here to get back to your different lists uh, if you have multiple inboxes you can get to your R archive list there if you wanted to uh, simply tap that to get back to your inbox and then you have cool things like you can uh, see different uh, messages that you may have saved for later uh, your main inbox and you have your, your check inbox here for the things that you already read um, and then also we have the create a message button right here at the top and so again everything is in one central location uh, versus iOS mail everything is kind of over here and then you just take a look at the just to look at it iOS mail it looks kind of stiff you know just the way it looks and uh, the mailbox application uh, looks a little bit more calmer has a softer tone to it and I don't mind spending a lot of time inside this application um, and because it just it kind of looks a little bit more pleasing to the eyes so anyway guys with the, with the design category really the main thing i like the placement of the buttons and everything with it i'm gonna have to give this to the mailbox app and then the next category is going to be features it's going to start off with the ios mail application again um, now when you go over here to the main inbox or the main area right here you'll see that you do have this category called vip mail which was introduced in ios 6. so now if you have uh you can assign certain contacts uh, to be vip so anytime they email you their emails will show up in here i don't have any here right now but they'll normally show up right there which is pretty nice pretty cool you don't have to go scouring through your email for um, the important people in your life um, but then we finally get into an inbox here i'm going to tap in there like so um, they did introduce the slide down to refresh um, and uh, for now for the uh, mail application also too if you swipe over you know to the right now you can either archive which is already it was already in this but um, you can archive and you can delete an email if you wanted to just by that but that's the only really swipe gesture that you have uh, in the iOS mail application. Now you move over to the mailbox app itself. This is a totally different story. It's really based around um, touch gestures. So say I have this email right here. Uh, I can simply swipe over to the right to mark it as read and to send it to, you know, I've already read this email or I can keep going all the way over to the right and then that will go ahead and delete that email just like that. Very nice. Now if I swipe over to the left, I can choose to snooze this email and I'm gonna show you what this looks like. So say you got an email but you may be at lunch, you may be driving or something and you definitely wanna read it later at another the time but um, you don't want to have to keep you know reminding yourself or to have to remember to do it the application can do that for you so I can choose to either remind this to remind myself within the application to read this email later this evening tomorrow uh, even this weekend or I can just pick a date down here and I can choose the time um, and the time and the date to when I want to actually have the application send me a push notification to read this certain email which is very nice I do like that and then over here in this category again you have all the emails that you have uh, for you to read later on in the day uh, and then if I swipe again all the way over to the left I can choose to add this to a certain list now you can create a new list if you wanted to or I can add it to one of these that come uh, pre-installed with the application and also too if you want to add a photo to your email it's very simple in the mailbox application I have a little icon right here down at the bottom and now I can tap on that now I can choose to take a photo with the camera or I can go and choose a photo from my photo library now that is very easy to do than the uh, the mail application in iOS once you tap on that you actually don't have a button for your photos you actually got to uh, uh, tap and hold 
and then hit the little arrow button and then hit insert insert photo or video um, and then now you can choose your photo library now the main advantage that the iOS mail app has over the mailbox application is that you can actually insert video too so just not photos you can also insert video so that's one advantage but it's just a couple more steps to have to do that which I don't understand that you have a dedicated uh, photo button for that and so really this category comes down to the touch gestures that is in the new mailbox application it just makes navigating the emails and and doing a whole bunch of things a lot faster uh, than the traditional iOS West mail application so I have to give this feature category to the mailbox app now the last category is going to be price and this is going to be very quick and painless because both of these apps are absolutely free now the iOS mail of course comes pre-installed and you can get the mailbox application in the iTunes store right now uh, for absolutely free now the one difference though is that the mailbox app just can't jump right into it there's a waiting list and it's almost close to a million people that are waiting uh, to use this application so if you download it right now you probably have uh, some days or maybe a week or two uh, before you can use it where the iOS mail application of course is I mean, you can use it for day one so I'm gonna I'm throw the iOS mail application a bone and give them the price category just because you can get into it right now all right so that wraps up this battle it's clear to see that the mailbox application has one it's easily my favorite email app to use on any platform the touch and swipe gestures are really spot on they make navigating email and a whole bunch of email at once uh, very very simple and just fast and very just very efficient I think uh, for a email client which a lot of us want so anyway guys you can download the mailbox application again for absolutely free but there is a waiting list so good luck on that all right guys again like always leave a comment down below what you think about these two email clients and what you think about the mailbox application and also to be sure to check out the previous episodes of Soldier Tech Battlefield where we have some awesome guests come on. We talk about a wide range of tech products. And I will see you guys and gals next week on Soldier Tech Battlefield. Peace out.